Moin Moin and welcome to Ralph's Photo Booth. Yeah, today I have a special topic. It's not a review of a camera. My topic of today is uh, the low pass filter. Yeah, the reason uh, of uh, why I talk about this topic is uh, Nikon announced this week the uh, D7100 and it's the first customer uh, DSLR without a low pass filter. Nikon had the uh, D800 and sells the D800 in two versions, one with and one without the low pass filter. The, the model without the low pass filter is uh, in Germany, they sell it only uh, at special dealers. So um, they think if a, if a normal customer buy a D800 without the low pass filter and he gets a moiré in his pictures, he will bring back the camera and complain. So that's the reason why the D800 in Germany is only uh, sold by um, special dealers. But the D7100 is the first camera which is sold at every point, at every market and without a low pass filter. So where is the low pass filter? The low pass filter is directly in front of the sensor. If you, if you, I go to the uh, live view of the camera, so the mirror goes up, and here we have the sensor, and the low pass filter is directly in front, just before the the sensor, before the pixels. Yeah, and what's what's uh, what has the low pass filter to do with the light? The low pass filter has to unsharpen it a little bit. So, why must the low pass filter unsharpen it? Yeah, the reason is um, because when you look at the sensor, this is a, a, a small uh, piece of a sensor. We have, we have uh, these pixels of the sensor, like a 20 megapixel sensor, you have 20 million of these pixels. So, in each pixel can only um, see if the light is bright or dark. Each pixel cannot see colors. So what do the manufacturers do? They, they put in front of the pixel a red filter, green and blue filters. So this pixel will see red, this green and this blue. It, it's called the Bayern pattern. So in the camera, what happens in the camera? The camera has to, to uh, combine these four pixels and um, after the, the camera combines these pixels, the camera can say which color this pixel has and which this and which this because from the from the other pixels he can he can combine it to one pixel with a with a with a color image the problem is if you have very fine structures like like here on my on my shirt the the fine the fine lines or you have uh, like like uh, uh, on houses these jealousies um, they have they they are really close together these fine structures um, can result to a moiré. A moiré is these, these shimmering, greenish, reddish coloring, shimmering in the picture where the, where the fine structures, where you, you cannot see anymore the fine structures, but you have a, you have a, a, a shimmering and um, that's called moiré. So the low pass filter makes the, the light which comes through the sensor a little bit unsharpen. So the, the, the camera can, can uh, um, combine out of these four points a little bit better the color. So the moiré is um, not so often seen, in the, in the best case never seen. But on the other hand, <laughs> you, have a, you have a high sensitive sensor with like 24 megapixels. You have a perfect lens and in the middle you have a filter which makes the picture unsharpen. So that's no good idea. So that's why Nikon says, okay, we don't put the low pass filter in front of the CCD lens or of the CMOS sensor and um, we deal without a low pass filter. What's happened? I don't know. I, I'm very excited to see the results of the D7100 and um, I hope it will work. Nikon says it will work because they have the, the, um, the experience from the D800 and they say it will work. So we will see. We will see what happens without the uh, low pass filter. 
Um, there are two other ways you can choose. The, the one way is you can make the, the unsharpen of the low pass filter very, very low. So it's, it's almost nothing, but it's a little bit. That's the way like Olympus or other manufacturers does it. Another way is the way uh, Fuji um, does it. They, they don't use the Bayern pattern. You see, this is the Bayern pattern that where you combine four pixels together. And Fuji film says, okay, we don't use the Bayern pattern. We use a bigger pattern. So they use a six by six pattern and it's almost unregular. So Fuji says we use an unregular six by six pattern and so we don't get a more ray. That's their way. Um, I tested the XA1, um, one of the cameras from Fuji with a very, very uh, high quality uh, picture. Um, I've never seen a Moiré with this camera, but um, okay, I, I didn't uh, take pictures especially to, to produce these Moiré. You can go out and, and, and uh, take a whole day pictures just to see a Moiré on the pictures. <laughs> I didn't do that. So um, on my normal pictures, when I when I was out shooting and taking pictures, I've never had a more real with the uh, with the Fuji film cameras. So these are the, the the two ways, and the third with a little bit uh, less unsharpened. These are the the ways you can um, you can deal with a, a low pass filter. Yeah. So. Um, I'm very excited to see how the, the low pass filter or the, the, the D7100 will work without a low pass filter. Um, I, will, I will show you on my video if I have the camera for testing. I think it takes two or three weeks and um, yeah, I hope enjoy, you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoyed my uh, small lesson about the uh, low pass filter of uh, cameras. Come on my internet site, unfortunately, till now only in German, www.ralfsfotobude.de or uh, join me again on my YouTube channel and till now, bye bye and moin moin.